we have to call the number. I like can't. I take know. We the we gotta just figure this out. Anticipation. All right, here we go. You ready? No. Well, we're here. Girl, my crazy's gonna come out. Please leave your message for <laughs> Hello, this is a message for Danny. Uh, wanted to ask you a couple questions. If you could give me a call back, that would be great. Uh, okay, great, thanks, bye. Let's see if anyone gets back to me, jeez. Oh, 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 and I'm getting a phone call. <gasps> Hello? Hey, um, Paul? Yeah, hey, is this Danny? Yeah, what's up? Shut up. This is Neve um, from that show Catfish. Okay. Um, I'm calling, did we, we didn't speak yesterday though, did we? Uh, no. Okay, I am talking to your friend Stephanie and trying to figure out if I can help you guys finally, you know, quote, meet for the first time, because I know it's been a long time coming. I don't know, Stephanie. I don't know what you're talking about. I really don't. Oh. Um, this makes no sense. Okay. So if I got this number from her and she's telling me this is the number she's been talking to a guy named Danny on. I'm trying to figure out how it's possible that you wouldn't know who she is if it's the same number. Hi, um, yes, you did talk to me yesterday. And yes, I am the guy she's been talking to. Okay, so we did talk yesterday. Yes, we did. I talked to two people yesterday. I talked to. A and Anthony and I talked to Danny, and were those both you? No, so oh. Anthony is my friend. Um, you spoke to him, right. and then I called you. So it has been you talking to her for the last 10 years? Correct, on and off, yes. But that wasn't the same as this number, so you you do have two numbers then that you use? Yeah, because I work phone. Work phone. Okay. So what the f If it is you, then I'm confused as to like why, and I'm sure you, you can agree, like, it's been hard for Stephanie to get just sort of any kind of confirmation that you are you all these years. Yeah, because I don't FaceTime or really talk on the phone. Okay. Well, is there any way you would feel comfortable showing us your face in, the, in like a Zoom call so that we can just sort of clear this up? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll do it. Okay, great. Okay, I just need a minute, but that's fine. Yeah, look, I get it. It's been a long time. No, get in the soon. So we'll be expecting to see you shortly. <sighs> All right. Okay, thanks. All right. Bye. Bye. Liar! I mean, I, yeah, I don't know if I should believe anything he says, obviously, but. You can't. But what is the truth? Like, yesterday you boldface lied on the phone and said that it wasn't you, you didn't right. have anything to do with it. Then you boldface lie again today and say right. it's not you, you don't have anything to do with it. Also, don't call me from the number you're talking to Stephanie on and say you're not talking to Stephanie. Exactly. Like, this whole run around is just like, if you're you, why you're not being blunt about it? Steve. Oh, hey. Hey. What the f There he is. Hey. It's you. I don't understand, man. What what what's going on? I just, you know, I just don't like FaceTiming. I don't like talking on the phone. Like, for example, the other day, my mother screamed at me because I haven't called her in four weeks. And, you know, like, it's, it's just one of my things. I don't know. Well, yeah, but, but that's whole It's been 10 years. The reality is I work a lot. I don't really have time. Like, in the little time that I do have, like, I barely can even use it for myself, so it's hard to, like, okay, call but somebody. Okay, you only had to FaceTime once. once. I don't know, I feel like you're hiding something. 
I'm I'm not hiding anything. Like yesterday, you boldface lied on the phone and said it wasn't you. Right. And when we talked to you today, you did lie and say that you didn't know Stephanie. What's the tea? Right. It was weird yesterday when we messaged with Anthony. Why was he covering for you? I was uncomfortable. I didn't want to be on TV because, I mean, I do watch the show and I've never thought that I would be somebody on it. Stephanie told us that over these last 10 years, you guys had talked about her flying out there, you had a plan, she even bought a ticket, and then you disappeared. So what was that about? The truth is that I was ashamed of my living situation. Um, I was ashamed of where I currently live. It's not a great neighborhood. I'm tired of the same answers, of the same... To me, it's excuses. I mean, I don't I don't see it as excuses. Um, well, here, here's my thing. I'm just curious to know from your side what this whole situation means to you. I, I don't really know, to be honest. So I think the reality is that even after 10 years, it's just always been an on and off. It just seems like we always argue about dumb stuff, like our conversation the other day, you know? And what conversation was that? She texted me at around like five something in the morning. Her text message woke me up. I couldn't go back to sleep. And I sent her a text saying, please try not to text me at 5 a.m. And uh, she flipped out on me. And she has a tendency to always flip out on me all the time. So I'm the bad one. No, you're not, you're not the bad guy. So 10 years of something is gonna be defined over a stupid ass argument? That's how it's always been. The whole 10 years has always been like that. I don't like that. Shit. Like I, I feel that when that happens, like I don't really need to be doing this. So like, why even... do you keep doing it? Cause I mean, cause like I said, you've always been a constant in my whole life as like, you know, a friend. Friend. So like, I mean, I would love to like- A friend. But you agree that it has leaned towards flirtation and potential relationship. I mean, she told us you've talked about starting a family. Those are all things that you do with, you know, someone who's a little bit more than just your friend. I don't know if it's like a love thing. I mean, yes, I love her as a friend, but like if it's like an actual like romance love thing, like I, it's, I don't know. It's, it's just throughout those whole 10 years, it's just always been a constant, like I said before, it's just, it's- Whose fault is it's, that? Danny, can we just talk, me and you, for a second and let Stephanie and Cammie talk for a second? Sure. Um, so, okay. It feels like she really just pissed you off too much. You just stopped talking to her. But if you're not into her, you need to tell her. Because she deserves, I think, to finally know. Because, you know, look, she's even said to us, she's dated other guys and constantly finds herself comparing them to you and doesn't want to date those guys because she's like, man, I, I think I just like Danny better. I never knew that. <laughs> I never knew that. That's, uh, wow. What is going on in there? I don't think I would have been this mad if it wasn't him. Yeah. But it's actually him. Yeah, exactly. Any of his excuses, like, are you buying any of them? No. The whole about arguing for 10 years. If it was as bad as you made it seem, why are we still here? And so the question is like now, what's, where do you want this to go? Because there does seem to be a, a real foundation here and potential for romance. And, but I'm not necessarily getting a sense from you that you're interested in either admitting that or actually feeling that. So I'm just trying to kind of- no. I, I, I admit, I admit it. I mean, for me to sit here and say that I don't feel anything for her, I don't have any type of attraction or anything like that is a lie. Okay. There's always gonna be a right. feeling there for her, always. If I was to lose her completely, I'd be very upset. Even saying that now kind of like shakes me up a little bit. It just feels like he's not ready to make a decision on you. At the same time, though, he's willing to drag you along and this that's not decade fair. long journey. Like, for me or for him, it's not fair. I'm interested in seeing what could possibly happen. And, you know, now that this part is behind right. us, 
Okay, cool. Why am I gonna keep giving you light of day if it's just a cycle? I'm not doing this anymore. Well, are you ready to tell him that? Mm -hmm. Let's put the past in the past if that's what you wanna do and let's finish this. Yeah. Let's put the past in the past if that's what you wanna do and yeah. let's finish this. Yeah. Let's see, let's see where he's at. But like, I know how you feel. You're not gonna sit on here and let him play you out more than he already has. Okay, he's ready. We're back. Stephanie, wanna take it away? I feel like you told your truth and you said what you actually had to say and you meant it. So why am I, why am I gonna keep trying? I mean, it's not like I don't have feelings for you. I definitely do. Um, As a friend. You know, maybe that was just a wrong choice of words. I shouldn't have said, said it like that. I know all this is my fault and I f***ed it up. So for you to be upset, you have every right to be. And I admit that. And things that we've talked about, like plans and stuff like that is stuff that I've truly wanted. And, you know, there was opportunity, you coming out here, and, you know, I, I f***ed that up. I didn't have you come out here, and, you know, I was, I was wrong in that, and I admit it, and I apologize. I'm sorry. I think if we actually try to actually talk, like, on the phone, as opposed to text all the time, I think that it would definitely help out our situation and improve things. I don't know. I just feel like I've been strung along for so long that for me to open up to somebody, it's hard. Yeah, as do I. So I, I get it. It's been a long time and, you know, I personally don't think that we've actually ever really, really had a chance to, you know, explore this. I think that there is potential to have something. But is it really what you want, though? Like, do you really want to see where things could go with her? Because you guys live on opposite ends of the country. I'm sure that you have people local that you could talk to. Stephanie, I'm sure, has people local that she could talk to. I mean, there's obviously a reason why we keep coming back into communication with each other. It always seems to be that whenever I'm feeling down or whenever I'm going through something, you have a sense of it and you always reach out to me at the perfect time. And little do you know, you have always been there for me at times that I needed somebody. Do you have anyone else that's close to you in your life, Danny, that you feel like you can confide in the way that you talk to Stephanie? Uh, I did. I did with my best friend, but... I'm different. We heard about that, and I'm really, I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah, so. I think it's even more reason to know, like, when you have somebody in your life that's there for you, you gotta take advantage of that Yeah, I didn't, I didn't learn that until, you know, my friend passed, so. Well, that's why I would love to have another opportunity to show you who I really am. Okay. But your words right now, like words right now, is going like this, like, so until I see action, then I'll start believing you. Fair enough. I heard you moving west. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm good with that. We've never been two hopeless hook up. An identical twin. Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on. 